everyone, it's Danny here, although you probably know me as Tracy Beaker. Now, are you all ready for your letters and sounds phonic lesson today? Hello children, my name's Josh. Can you remember what a phoneme is? Yes, that's right, it's a sound. Can you remember what a grapheme is? Yes, that's right, it's a sound written down. Can you remember what a digraph is? Yes, that's right. Two letters that make one sound. Great remembering. Let's read some phonemes you already know. I'll show you the graphemes on the cards and I want you to read them aloud. This first card says ear. Let's check you got them right. Read them aloud with me. Ear, air, your, a, uh, oo or u, uh, I, I, e, e, e. I'm going to mix the cards up. I'm going to shuffle them so that they're in a different order. Let's read the graphemes on the cards. I want you to read them aloud. OK. Let's check you got them right. Read them aloud with me. Oo or u. Uh. I. E. 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 Ear. Your. I. U. Uh. Air. Well done! Super sounds! Let's read some words with graphemes we already know. Can you spot the digraph? Yes, the digraph is I. Read each sound as I point. Now blend the sounds and read the word. I d cried. He cried because he felt sad. Can you spot the digraph in this word? Yes, the digraph is I. Read each sound as I point. Now blend and read the word. I tie. I can tie a knot in this string. Can you spot the digraphs in this word? Yes, that's right. The digraphs are v and the split vowel digraph e. Read each sound as I point. Now blend and read the word. V e z. These. I like these toys. They look very fun to play with. How about this word? Can you spot the digraph? Yes, the digraph is e. Read each sound as I point.
Now blend and read the word. L e s t. Least. Least is the smallest amount. I had the least luck. Here's another word. Can you spot the trigraph in this word? Yes, that's right. The trigraph is air. Read each sound as I point. OK, and now blend to read the word. Ch, air, chair. OK, here's my final word. Can you spot the digraph in this word? That's right. The digraph is a. Uh. Read each sound as I point. Now blend the sounds and read the word. B, O, X, A. Boxer. A boxer fights in a boxing ring. Great reading. I'm going to mix the words up. I'll shuffle them so that they're in a different order. Can you read the words on the card without any help? I want you to read them aloud. Let's check. Read them with me. These. Tie. Boxer. Least. Cried. Chair. Fantastic reading. Today we are learning to read a new way of writing the sound I. Practice saying the sound a few times. Copy me. I. 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 Now, let's sound talk some words with the phoneme I. Copy me. Say the sounds and then see if you can blend the sounds to say the word. R I P R I P R I P Ripe A ripe fruit is perfectly ready to eat. Yummy! Copy me again. Say the sounds and then blend the sounds to say the word. P R I P Z. P, R, I, Z. P, R, I, Z. Prize. We can win a prize in a competition or for winning a race. Let's sound talk our final word. Copy me, say the sounds, and then blend the sounds to say the word. S-l-i-d 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 Slide. It is fun to zip down the slide at the playground. We know the sound I is written like this. Three letters making one sound is a trigraph. The sound I is also written like this. 
two letters making one sound is called a digraph. There is another way to write the sound I, and it looks like this. In the digraph, the two letters that make the sound I are not next to each other. They are split up. This is called a split vowel digraph. Let's read the new sound I. Can you say the sound I each time I show you the split vowel digraph I? That was excellent. Now let's read some words with our new grapheme for the sound I. Here's my first word. Sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word aloud. Now let's read the word together. T I M Time. Did you get it right? Here's another word. Read each grapheme and then blend to read the word aloud. Now let's read the word together. L I K Like. Did you get it right? Now I've got another word. I want you to read each grapheme again and then blend to read the word aloud. Now let's read the word together. R I P Ripe. Did you get it right? Sound talk each grapheme in this word and then blend to read the word aloud. Now let's read the word together. I, n, s, i, d. Inside. When we are in our home, we are inside. Here's another word. Sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word aloud. Now let's read the word together. P R I Z Prize. Did you get it right? Here is my final word. Sound talk each grapheme again and then blend to read the word aloud. Now let's read the word together. S L I D Slide did you get it right? All right, now can you read these words without any help? Are you ready? Okay, let's check. Read them with me. Time, like, ripe, inside, prize, slide. Fantastic! Okay, now I'm going to mix the words up. I'm going to shuffle the cards so that they're in a different order. Can you read the words on the cards without any help?
Let's check. Read them with me. Inside. Prize. Ripe. Slide. Time. Like. Incredible! We are on fire today, children. Let's learn to read a tricky word. We are going to learn to read the tricky word called. Well, this word has two tricky bits. The first says or, and the second bit is at the end. It says d. When I read it, I say k or l d. Called. Now read the word with me. K or l d. Called. Awesome. Now read it to yourself. What's the word? Sorry, what was that? Yes, the word is k or l d. Called. Fantastic. Now let's practice reading some tricky words that I know you've met before. Can you remember the two tricky bits in this word? Yes, the first tricky bit is here. It says ooh. The second tricky bit is here. It says o. Oh. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. O t. What? Excellent reading. I've got another tricky word for you here. Can you remember the tricky bit? Yes, the tricky bit is here. It says ooh. Can you read this word? Let's read it together. Ooh. Eh, mm. When? OK, children, now it's time to read some sentences with our new grapheme in it. Here is my first sentence for you. Can you see the words in this sentence with our new grapheme I? That's right. This word and this word both have the split vowel digraph I. Can you see any other words with digraphs? Yes. This word, this word, this word and this word all have digraphs. This word and this word are tricky words that we already know. This question mark tells me that the sentence is asking a question. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. And remember, use your sounds to help you if you're not sure of what a word says. Are you ready? Brilliant reading. Now it's time to read the sentence together. Are you ready? What is the prize for the longest slide? I wonder what the prize was. 
Perhaps it was a gold medal. Now I've got another sentence for you. Here it is. Can you see the words in this sentence with today's grapheme I? Look really carefully. That's right. This word and this word and this word all have the split vowel digraph I. Can you see any tricky words that you already know? Yes, this word, this word, this word, and this word are all tricky words that we already know. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. And remember again, use your sounds to help you to read words you're not sure of. Here we go. How did you get on? Shall we read it together? I like to ride my bike in the park. It's fun to ride your bike in the park, especially when it's a really sunny day. Now it's time to finish by spelling some words. Because if you can read a word, then you can have a go at spelling it. You will need your paper and something to write with. Let's spell two words with today's sound I spelled with the split vowel digraph I. Let's spell time. Segment the sounds with me. Time. T. I. M. Let's count how many sounds there are. Time. T. I. M. That's three sounds. Watch me write time. T. I mm. Time. The I needs to be the letter I and E at the end of the word. So it is written like this. Time. Now I want you to have a go. I'm going to hide the word. Say the word. Say the sounds. Write them down. And don't forget the split digraph I. Let's check our spelling. Did you get it right? Fantastic! Let's spell another word. Let's spell like. Segment the sounds with me. Like. L-I-K. Let's count how many sounds there are. Like. L-I-K. That's three sounds. Watch me write like. Uh. I. K. 
like. The I needs to be the letter I and the letter E at the end of the word. So when we write it, we write it like this. Like. Now I'm going to hide the word. And I want you to have a go. Say the word. Say the sounds. Okay, write them down. Keep going. Okay, let's check our spelling. Did you get it right? Fantastic. Now let's learn to spell a tricky word. We can read the word called, so now let's spell it. Segment the sounds with me. Called. K. O. L. Let's count how many sounds there are. Called. K. O. L. D. That's four sounds. Watch me write called. This word has two tricky bits. The first bit is easy. K. And then there is the tricky bit. The letter A says or. Then it's double L for the U sound. And at the end, the letters E, D say Here is the word called. It is written C-A-L-L-E-D. Now I'm going to hide the word. I want you to have a go. Say the word to yourself. Say the sounds. What are the tricky bits? Write them down. OK, let's check our spelling. Did you get it right? OK, now let's practice spelling a tricky word that you've met before. Segment the sounds with me. What? U-A-T. Let's count how many sounds there are. U-A-T. That's three sounds. Watch me write what. Can you remember the first tricky bit? Yes, the first tricky bit, W and H, say can you remember the second tricky bit? Yes, that's right. The second tricky bit is the letter A that says O. Oh. And the end is easy. The word is what? Now I'm going to hide the word. And I'd like you to have a go. 
Say the word. Say the sounds. And what's the tricky bit? The letters W and H say. The letter A says up. Write them down. Let's check our spelling. Did you get it right? Fantastic! Well done, children. You've worked so hard practising reading and spelling. See you tomorrow for another lesson with letters and sounds. Well, there we go, everyone. Hope you enjoyed your letters and sounds lesson. You've worked really hard and we're so proud of you. Why don't you celebrate by sharing a lovely book together with someone at home? <laughs>